Hello, hi, we're live. We're doing the thing. Welcome the fuck on in. Hi, I'm Aaron. Hope you're well. <clears throat> Camera was giving me some grief. Took a moment to fix it. Had to unplug it, plug it back in, all that happy horse shit. But now it works fine, I guess. I, I don't understand anything. Technology is a mystery to me. Fuck it, we're doing we're doing it live. Would you believe that I was once a manager over a technology support team? I, mean, I guess I got it working, so I guess that that explains that maybe I maybe I do have the chops. I don't understand what's happening half the time with technology. Confuses the fuck out of me, to be honest. <clears throat> Should put that on my resume. Technology is confusing and scary. Don't really understand it. Probably never will. Ah, there we go. <laughs> it's about one more thing. I, I, I was I wasn't mentally prepared to have one more thing break. So tonight, tonight. So I did actually beat this game offline. It took a ridiculous amount of. That's my hawk. It took a ridiculous amount of grinding to get to. Like actually, the last boss fight, I probably didn't need to grind out all the potions I did for it once I figured out the pattern. But, like, there's an arena you can do, and I wanted to clear the arena, and that is a slog. Holy shit. So I farmed potions like crazy. Yo, LARP up. Oh, you you fold that laundry, you beautiful man. You fold it so, so crisp and beautiful. I, uh, yeah, I had to farm the fuck out of stuff to get potions. I want to getting up to like level 55 it was fucking ridiculous but i beat the game and so like this is this is going back through now i unlocked um wizard mode so like you just get all the spells which is cool so i'm gonna try and do a couple of the chivo challenge fights i'll probably only get through one tonight before i switch to super mario 64 if i'm being totally honest like because this one is supposed to be beat cerberus Using the hawk, don't take damage, but only the hawk. I believe. I believe. Let me let me double let me reread it one more time here. Uh, magician mode: defeat Cerberus without taking a hit and always having a hawk helping you. No heart usage. So you can't use sub weapons. Okay, as long as I always have the hawk, so I can use my weapon. I thought. Like when I read it the first time, I thought it was gonna be I thought it was gonna be some some nonsense about um like summon only. In which case that I wouldn't have been mentally prepared for. Uh but this, this is a much friendlier version of what I thought I had to do. Hawk Buddy is amazing. Look at him go. He's stunning. Um, there is another challenge in this mode that people on Retro Achievements are saying is much easier to do uh, in Magician mode, where you use the secret technique, um, but that requires, without getting, without using a sub weapon, or without having a sub weapon. So, like, I think I have to get to level 26 without picking up a sub weapon. And I don't even know how you do the secret technique. I have to figure all this out, but all I know is that I have a ways to go. That's all this guy knows. So I did spend a little bit of time grinding out to get to level five. But now it's just me and Hawkboy. We're going. We're doing it live. Me and Hawkboy. Yeah, I came over here and got the speedy boots before. Ooh, hit him, Hawkboy. Hit him, Hawkboy. I'm taking the hits here. Okay, I might die here. Oh, it's a giant hawk. Hawk boy don't play. Oh! Hawk boy can take the hits though. I wish Hawk boy would get a little bit more engaged in the fight, to be honest. Oh, yeah, Middle Earth at least. Uh, possibly Lower Earth. 
I didn't get anything cool for that. Well, that's great. Um, maybe Upper Earth, even? You know, anything's possible. Oh, I like that, how he just flaps his wing into the bats. Uh, I like that. Yeah, get him. Get him, hockey. Oh, apparently it's thundering again. It's like, what was that sound? Oh, it's thunder. Okay, good. Nope, can't go there. Yeah, look at that. Hawk boy, don't play. Man, this hawk is badass. Uh, I have a precariously ungood amount of health, though. But Hawkboy is doing some real nice cleanup here. How you doing, Marin? Was that you're saying your neck hurts? But you were gonna get a massage. I hope you were able to get it taken care of. I hope you're feeling a little bit better. I'm gonna get my hairs did tomorrow. That should be exciting. I'll do it between my dashes. Big times, big times. The massage is the best damn one you ever had. Hell yeah. You go somewhere new or just get someone new or what? Judge not by their size. Yo, for real. That's true. You cannot judge by their size. There's some there's some petite people that got some crazy power. I'm glad to hear that worked out well for you. I think there's a save up here somewhere. Nah, oh, I gotta go up one more level for sure. Like right here, should be right here. Yes, yes. Fast forward, it's your friend. Cause although the save animation's really cool, I don't really wanna watch it. I don't think there's anything like really cool I can get over here right now. Yeah, can't go that way right now. I can come back from that way, but I can't go that way. What a bonehead. Same place you usually go, but your go-to guy quit. Ooh. Well, it seems like you found the new person you like then, so that's pretty cool. <laughs> Get out of here, skeleton spear. I need. I, I should go get a massage at some point. Shit's so expensive here, though. In Canada, is that like? Does that get covered at all by like insurance, or is that just purely like? Like that's just like a luxury service, technically, right? Like that's not. That's not something where because I know some things I can count as like physical therapy. Give you stretches to do? Nice. Because yeah, I know it like... I've, I've been to different places where it's like... It's it, it's a massage, but it's more physical therapy than it is like spa. Like I know if you go to a spa straight up... Like I don't know. It's, just, it's so precarious what the fuck is actually covered in this goddamn country. Depending on what insurance you have. And then when you have shit insurance... Just fucking nothing's covered. Which is where I'm at right now. I have shit insurance. He's chatting the whole time, and I'm too nice to tell him to just let me relax. Oh, yeah. The last time I got a massage, I passed the fuck out. Like, I was pissed. Like, the, the massage was so good that I passed out. But then, like, I missed part of the massage because I had passed out. So, like, I got the after effects of having the good massage. But I wanted to be awake for it. That was kind of a bummer. That, that was a sad day for, for old Bonnie. <laughs> Covered under our extended healthcare through work, they cover you think, God damn it! That's awesome. <laughs> Fucking America. You can probably get health insurance that covers that sort of stuff. I've never had it! 
I definitely know there's people that do have it, though. And then the people that do have it have so much money anyway that they don't need help covering their massages. That's America for you, babe. Now nah, I'd have to bring the whole fam. You have to adopt all of us. I do think about that sometimes, though. I do think about leaving sometimes. The rest of the fam doesn't want to do it, but I, I do think about it sometimes. Like, if shit gets weird enough where that scenario presents itself, like, obviously we would all stay together. I just feel like there definitely could be a scenario where we all peace out. <laughs> I can't believe I didn't get hit right there. How much X? Let's see how much XP these dudes give. Two. That's not that great. I could just sit and farm them. This actually might go pretty fast. They're spawning at a pretty decent rate. Oh, I got hit. We get Geno's PR within six months. But that was through spell sponsorship. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would have to find, like, employment. Kill him! Kill him! Kill the hopper! Kill the hopper! Ah! Taking too much damage. Cotton clothes aren't good. Not when you're fighting Satan! I think I already have two wrists equipped. I do. Oh, but I didn't get, like, an armor drop or anything. So I guess cotton clothes are pretty fucking good. Yo, Deus. Get to the chopper! Get to the chopper! Get to now! Ooh, I want this. How you doing, Deus? Is it storming by you still? Because it's starting up again here. It was pretty funky before. Uh, okay. Yeah, I definitely could use like another level at least. The way I'm taking damage. There is some armor you can get early on. But I don't know who drops. God damn it, stop hitting me, man. I can't be taking this kind of damage. I'm having a hard time remembering which enemies drop which things. Which is no bueno. I do have one potion, maybe two. So I could be okay. I just have to have the hawk summoned. Bullshit. And I can't use a sub weapon, which I don't have a sub weapon, so we're all good there. I mean, maybe the hawk can do most of the fucking work. Yep, just don't get too close during this... this phase. Oh, shit! Not good. I do have two potions. Okay. I'm gonna use the other one right away. Although it doesn't look like the Chivo's active anymore. Can I not... Wait a minute. Can I not even... <laughs> Rock out with your hawk out! No heart usage. Oh, without taking a hit. That's right. I can't get hit. Fuck, I forgot about that already. Okay, so I have to be way more careful. I guess I need to let the hawk do most of the work. Okay, so I'm 
stupid. <laughs> go against that might go against TOS. Depending on how sassy the hawk is. Come on, hawk, let's go. Alright, so really HP kinda doesn't matter, because I'm not supposed to get hit. I don't know that a level up would make that much of a difference with the hawk, but maybe it would. I bet it would. So the hawk's probably gonna level up based on my intelligence, maybe. Oh, that was a pretty clean run over here. All right, so I can't get hit, that's right. So maybe I should be a little bit less ballsy. Okay, I already fucked up. This is probably gonna be faster than restarting. Yep. Okay, so that jump, middle pillar is not my friend. I'm going to want to be on uh, the top pillars on the left or the right side. Nice. Thanks, Hawk. So, like, get over here. Yeah. Okay. It's just a matter of knowing where he goes for each of the jumps. That's all it is. Go, Hawk! I, I'm not touching that lightning. Go. Oh my god! Fucking Hawk. If the Hawk would have been more proactive, I wouldn't have died. I'm gonna blame the Hawk for everything, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, no! There was a potion! I wanted it! Whatever. Nice. Nice moves. Yeah, Marin is a frank, uh, frequent breaker of TOS. Confirmed. Marin has little regard for uh, TOS. This is known. Jesus Christ. I think all I had to do there was duck. So I don't know the pattern quite as well as I need to. I think when he goes red, you can just duck. Must be some RNG with which phase happens when. Yeah, okay. So it's not always uh for sure. Where where are you at right now? Oh oh god! What color are we going? Oh god! Bastard. Oh, let's practice. Yeah, you can. Okay, when he goes red, you can just stay on the ground. Okay, that's good to know. Gotta be careful with. What was this, like blue gray? Okay, yeah, so like the grayish blue, he kind of does some physical attack, but blue blue, he does lightning. Doesn't sound like the storm is picking back up here, nice. That's always good. 
Oh my. Yeah, the stupid thing about this is that they give you all the cards for all the different spell abilities, but they're all left in a state of, like, unknown, so you have to still, like, try them all out. I found a good guide for which one's which, because, oh my god, dumbass. Because it's just, it's just a fucking mystery, otherwise. Yo, thank you for the follow. Like, I, I was really hoping. Hey, Spirit. I was really hoping, uh... When I fired up the Magician mode, it would just be explained what all the cards were. Oh, thank you, thank you. Oh, it's true. Captain Lou uh, is the ultimate legend. The only true Mario in our hearts. You a fan of, uh... Castlevania at all? Fan of General Retro? Big time, nice. Oh, then you've come to the right place, my friend. Man, this achievement's gonna suck. Maybe I should level up. Like, I feel like I'm just not hitting hard enough. This is gonna be a slow fight. What's the Chivo? The Chivo is in magician mode with a hawk summoned at all times. Beat the boss. Don't take a hit. I'm gonna explore a little bit more, I think. How are you doing, X2? Welcome the hell on in. How you doing, buddy? Now there are a couple of rooms that looks like I haven't explored yet here. You love yourself too much? Yeah, but see, here's the thing. RA requires discipline. Some people, like me, have the possibility... Have you tried giving him the big bone? Only the biggest of bones. Sink is done. Well, there you go. That's good. Where I've done RA before to the point where I get, like, obsessive about min-maxing how I do every run and every playthrough. And, like, right now, now that I've beaten this game, and I was like, ooh, I beat it. It's like, how oh, but I still want to play it more. I did, I did really enjoy it. So now I'm like, okay, I'll just casually do some of the RA challenges until I get sick of it. And if I never badge it, okay, I had my fun, and that's okay. I wasn't too hot on it. No, 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 you're not wrong. You're remembering the lore of Circle of the Moon correctly. Like, I didn't like it until I started farming, po like I was farming potions and items and different drops. And like now that I kind of know where some of the better gear is and what it takes to get it and how much more enjoyable it makes the game, it's kind of like, ooh, yeah, no, I could see playing this through to do some of the challenges as long as I have like, you know, I go to the right spots to get the right drops and get the right gear so that, you know, it's not as much of a slog. So it's like, now it's like after the fact, I'm enjoying it a bit more. Oh, we're in the middle of an ad break. Hold on. We'll do a quick BRB. I don't know. You know what? We'll just go, uh, we'll just pause the gameplay first. No, you know what? I'm not going to pause the gameplay because I'm just grinding. I'm just grinding. You had this badged at one point? Well, if you had it badged prior to a revision, you still technically have it badged. A lot of sets are getting revised, and the revisions are actually pretty good, I will say. Is there a secret room over here? There might be. Oh, don't touch that sub weapon. I'm gonna make sure it's gone before I fuck around here somewhere. Yeah, the one thing I am trying to do is not pick up a sub weapon because there is an achievement I want to get further down the road that requires me to not have a sub weapon. 
Oh, this would be a good room to fuck around with. Because let's see how much X fat. 223. Okay, they give 3 XP. That's not too bad. Uh oh. I'm about to get boxed in by mummies! Oh, my mummy! I think there's a fine balance between accessibility exploration, going in fresh versus getting enjoyment from knowing where to go and what to do. Not sure if that makes sense. That makes perfect sense. Because, like, I hit a point while I was grinding and I was running around trying to find specific places to get drops that I wanted, where it's like, oh, I know where that is. Oh, I know which enemy that is. Oh, I know how to fight that enemy. Like, once I cleared the gauntlet, it got way less tedious. Oh, thanks for answering that, Marin. I missed that question. Yeah. Yeah, we do we do we do run the old ads. I try and keep them short and sweet, but we got the ads going. So thanks for hanging around. Yeah, there's I don't know. I'm finding a lot of enjoyment in this game that I did not expect to find. Like I thought like I thought for a minute seriously once I beat this I was gonna save beating it for on stream, and then I was on a roll the other night. It's like, no, let's just let's just see what the end looks like. I want to start up a save slot in magician mode, see what that's like, and it's like, ah, I'm not done with this. I'm not done with this yet. I'm digging it. And the music bops hard. Circle of the moon is a nice balance, in your opinion, mostly in that regard. Only thing I would say that is kind of BS, knowing which. Enemies to farm for potions, having access to potions otherwise. Yeah, that's a huge, that's a huge, uh, weak spot in the game. Cause like, what was it? I had, with like different stuff equipped, different abilities, I had my luck up to like almost 900. And it still took, like by the time I finished farming enemies to get the potions I needed, farming like the enemies that had the highest drop rates. I still probably spent like 45 minutes farming and that that's a little bit too much in my opinion like that that's a huge downfall of this game is the lack of potion drops oh yeah no it definitely gets rough there's definitely easy patterns to most of the fights once you and, and when I say easy let me say not easy let me say there's some very learnable patterns but they're not free they're not free and Nathan moves like in very classic Castlevania fashion, like a fucking pile of bricks. And I'm not sure, like, I feel like, I feel like I do get like missed inputs with this game now and again. And I don't think it's the controller. I don't think it's me. His movement is very stunted. The thing I like less, now it's habit, so it's not a problem, is the double tap to dash. But now I'm just used to it. It's not used, it's not the controller, it's the game. Okay, good. Because, like, I kept having moments where it's just like, it's like, I feel like I'm losing inputs. I feel like I'm losing inputs. <laughs> and I hate saying that because, like, there's so many, there's just too many speed runs I used to watch and listen to. Everybody would be like, oh, dropped inputs. And it's like, sometimes it's a thing, and sometimes it's like, no, you just, you just fucked up. But it's like in this game, I feel like there's a ton of times where it's like, I hit jump, nothing happened. And I think it has to do with it's like where he's at in his movement animation. Like, I think he has to like stop and plant. And then it's like, now you may jump, sir. But yeah, it's games fucking growing on me. Didn't expect it. Did I save? I know I refilled my health. I don't remember if I saved. Let's go try the wolf again. Yeah, there's no, like, super sweet drops this early on that I'm aware of. Because I have two wristbands equipped. I just picked up the leather armor, which isn't going to make much of a difference for this fight, the way we're doing it. Anyway. <laughs> when in doubt, save again. Oh, for real. Some, some, some chances you just don't take. Alright, at least we're doing 15 damage a swing instead of 13. So that's, you know... That'll stack over time. Run, buddy! 
No, I'm fucked. I think I'm fucked. I think I'm fucked. I'm fucked! Oh, <gasps> look at that pro move! Oh, I thought I was fucked and then I wasn't! <laughs> I'm not sure I was screwed. I'm scared. What's he doing down there? I wish, he, yeah, I don't mind this phase. I don't mind red. They're both pretty easy to deal with. When he goes like that grayish color, I don't quite feel like I know how to handle him. Oh! <laughs> I don't like when he goes gray. All right, I think he's done doing the sass now. Oh! <laughs> I don't like the way he looked at me. <laughs> it's making me nervous. I'm not get I'm not going over there. Yeah, go red. Easy. Boo! Shaka ya! Yeah, baby! Pop! Chivo pop! Thanks for the GG's. So now I think I can just, uh... Thanks, Deus. I think I can just enjoy some casual exploring because, let's see, the other one is... So now we got that one. The next one up is defeat the necromancer without taking a hit and always having poison clouds around you, which is Jupiter plus Manicore, and it says no cross allowed. So I can apparently use a sub weapon for that one. I don't remember where that dude is anyway. There's a lot of shit to do between here and there anyway. Because now that I can double jump, I can explore shit. Oh, you know what else broke my brain in this game? It's rare, but every once in a while, there's a secret room somewhere you have to find by spinning your whip and hitting the floor. Every once in a very rare while. That broke my brain the other day. Because it feels like, for the most part, this game this game ain't about doing it like that. There's a couple where you can break the ceiling to get into a secret room. Not a ton. They're rare. They're rare comparative to the wall holes. Let us say. I think there is a secret room to the left there. And it's kind of deceptive, too, because it's one of those things where it's like, in a lot of cases, when there's a blank spot in the in the map, there's usually a secret room there, but not always. No, wait, wouldn't that be... Oh, I'm in the wrong... Wait. No, there wouldn't be a secret spot in the boss room. No, so I'm wrong. So that that's one that probably isn't one. Maybe I'm not wrong. I don't know. We're not going to figure it out right now, though. I'll tell you that much. Yeah, the red skellies can drop normal potions. And the best enemy to fight for potions that's a little bit less of a slog is wind armor. Otherwise, it's the weird uh, Contra looking things with the tongues and the multiple heads. But those suck to fight, because if you get hit, you get cursed. And then when you get cursed, you have to wait, like, 30 seconds or something, maybe longer, before you can attack. Because when you're cursed, you can't attack. It's bullshit. And this room is bullshit. There we go, there's a potion. I didn't touch any of the potions I had, so now I've got all those just chilling. Hawk! Take care of this shit, dude. Right. Let's check the map quick. No, there wouldn't be a secret over here. Doesn't mean there isn't one over here. But apparently there isn't, so good to know. I 
your least favorite type of chivo get hits one out of 256 chance drop yup those are stupid those are stupid that's why i never that's why i haven't done any rpg sets yet because there's too many there's too much shit like that where it's like ultra rare item drop where it's just a total grind fest like that i just that's where i draw the line because it's like it's just rude it's joyless it's joyless <laughs> rng chivo with RNG can lick a rusty nail. I couldn't have said it better myself. Oh! That being said, I actually wouldn't mind going after one of those sets. Like, is there an RPG set that is, like, the least egregious of them all? Because, like, Dragon Warrior is annoying one, too, so don't do Dragon Warrior is what you're telling me. Because, like, when I think about it, it's like, I wouldn't mind doing, like, and I don't know if it's annoying or not. I'm going to assume it's probably a little annoying, but, like, I haven't done a playthrough of Breath of Fire in forever. And that would be fun, as long as the Chivo set doesn't suck. Yeah, it definitely does, Deus. There, there's at least one that's going to be an absolute nightmare, for sure. And I think it's the one... Uh, yeah, it's like the, the White Knights or whatever. Yeah, there's one room in the arena that they're in. That I'm not looking forward to. Don't touch that dagger. I gotta be careful about sub pickups. Don't shoot me in the foot, motherfucker! These are my good boots, please. Easiest Final Fantasy set. Final Fan- Yeah! Ooh, I'd love to do that one, too. Oh, is this- Oh, it's just straight up play the game. Largely. Not totally, but... Ooh, that'd be a good one. That'd be a really good one, Marin. Because I saw the Final Fantasy 1 set. They removed some of the hard ones for some reason. Well, maybe they moved them to a bonus set. Yeah, Mystic Quest would be good, too. That's, like, that's total chill time. That's, like, just feel-good chill time. Um, because then Final Fantasy 1 got some interesting revisions, too. That actually looked kind of fun, but not, like, fun to stream, necessarily. You would reply to the wrong comment. How dare you? How dare you, madam? How dare you? I got a cat hair in my nose and it's driving me insane. Let's see. Um, so I thought there'd be a secret room there and there wasn't. Let's see what's down and to the right, shall we? So I apparently didn't go. <laughs> Good job, buddy. Apparently didn't go in here at all. Nice. Good job, Hawk. I'm just going to keep this Hawk around forever. Hawk is bay. <laughs> you got the right person. That is, it is true. Went away from the badge and Mystic Quest. Just have to do max level. Oh, that that probably wouldn't be too bad. Sleep so blocked. D W D W and D W two for my memory. Should name them Mike. <laughs> yeah, Mike Hawk. <laughs> this is my friend, Mike Hawk. Mike Hawk. I love Mike Hawk. All right, let's see here. No secret room here. And sometimes it looks like you're hitting the wall and you'd think it would like bust open if it was going to, but I learned a hard lesson about that too. Cause I had like one room left to find that I hadn't found. And I'm like, I'm hitting it in the spot. And it's like, I wasn't as precise as I thought I was. And it's like, man, I got lucky with some of the rooms I found. I learned some hard lessons. EW2 had that stupid lottery thing you had to win. Excuse me? That sounds like something that shouldn't be a Chivo. No! 
sir. Stop it. Oh god, my nose is so itchy. Now, this... Ugh. This is actually a good item. This might make Hawk stronger, but might make my whip weaker. I don't know that that's a chance I feel like taking right now. Badge Brain Lord pretty easily. <sighs> Brain Lord, what's up? Tell me. Tell me more about the game and what console. Square Enix era action RPG? Oh shit, that looks fun! Just from that screen cap alone, that looks fun. Oh, I like those kinds of action RPGs. Okay. Couple minorly frustrating parts that just require a bit of patience. I've never met a retro game that doesn't have at least a little bit of that. Wait, what's right? That'll just take me back. Do I need to do a save? I probably should. Is this save room? Nope. Uh, enter, sir. Come, Mike! Let us go. Let us journey, Mike Hawk. Yeah, that box art, it's great. It's the classic uh, Square Enix art, for sure. I think I've done everything I can do here. For now. Mike Hawk! Can I just, like, slide through these dudes? Dude. Oh, kinda. <laughs> Sometimes you hit a hard stop. <laughs> I should always be ready for it, but I never am. <laughs> Yeah, maybe that would be a fun game to do on stream, too. And then when I say that, I mean, of course, also, I'll probably just wind up playing it a bunch of my free time, too. I've been doing a lot more of that, just camping out and playing retro on the Steam Deck. Just chilling. Big chilling, playing retro. I have plenty of modern stuff that I still need to work out of my backlog, but... We all know how that goes. keep forgetting I have double jump now. This guy's not really a threat anymore. I should see how much XP... Let's let's kill one and see how much XP I get. Because this could be a good spot to farm. Backlogs are for not beating. That's right. Are you even a gamer if you don't have a backlog? Because then if you clear your backlog, like, what is that life even like? Like, what kind of existential gamer crisis do you have if you no longer have a backlog? 7.32? I forgot to look at what I had before. Ah, uh, my brain is so scattered. I had the most manic DoorDash morning today. 7.32? So like... 20-some experience? It's fine, I guess. It's probably faster to just come in here and kill a bunch of little dudes real quick. Like, I had multiple orders get canceled today while I was, like, handling them. It was fine. It was like, there was one where it was like, someone was totally like, 
they wanted it from a CVS pharmacy too. Or it was like they had like the breath mints, the chocolates, and they wanted fresh flowers. And I was looking at it, it's like fresh flowers. I'm like they don't usually have that at a CVS. I go to the, um, you know, the person working the store. And it's just like you don't have flowers, do you? And she's like, we don't have flowers. <laughs> and I was like, cool. Call my customer, and they're like, oh, let's just cancel the whole thing. I'm like, can you do that on your end? She's like, no. And oddly enough. She couldn't, so I had to like call support and have them cancel it. And then I had another order where someone had like something they were they're trying to get medicine from the pharmacy, and then apparently they couldn't afford their own medicine. Oh my god, I almost died. They couldn't afford their own medicine, so like I had to call support and they had to call the store so that they could cancel the order. And it's like, Jesus Christ. Yeah, it sounds like someone is dis dis Totally forgot a birthday, yeah. You know, you keep talking about your hawk. All I can think of is that uh, ATLA episode where Soka buys a hawk and calls him hockey. <laughs> hockey, yep. Yeah, trying to riz up someone big time. And like, yeah, it was like my my first um, hour out there. I, I made like seven dollars. It was horrible. The second hour out got a little bit better. Um, still not great. But then I wound up around lunchtime. I had uh, one of the lunch orders I got was going to a business. Ton of shit, ton of Qdoba. And they wound up tipping like 20 bucks, which was huge. Because that made up for my shitty morning. And I also sold some bread today, too. Which also helped make up for my shitty morning. But, oh, What a fucking Monday. Oh, yo. And then I went to a Dollar General to pick up an order. Oh, fucker. I thought he was... No! Stop it! Oh, my God. I can't even handle these little dudes. Like, I had read an article about how most Dollar Generals are basically, like, manned by a single human being. And they have to do all the stocking and maintaining and everything all by themselves. Totally true. And, like, the dude that was there was, like, this, like, bless his heart, nicest dude. But he was this super old dude. And he was doing, like, the shuffle walk to come from the back of the store where it was stocking to come out to me so I could do my checkout for my order and it's like oh my god it's like how in the hell is this dude like managing an entire store he can barely walk from the front to back like in any amount of time cause dude's just like you know just old like just crazy it does have a documentary, Liar Pub. It's just, it's just, it's an insane business model. Like, I don't even know how, like, you can run a shop that way and have that be okay. Like, of that size. Like, you'd think there'd be, like, some law or rule where it's like, yo, if you got a store of this size and volume, you have to have X amount of employees. Like, it's just begging to get shoplifted. Yo, Stripey. Thanks for farting your way in. Yeah, fuck corporate greed. Amen. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sick of corpos. Sick of getting, letting them have their way with me. I do not like this place. Brain float. I don't like this place. Look at this dude trying to yeet himself up here. Go away. Can't pick that up. Oh, that's all this was? It was an item? I mean, yay, but like, that's all this was? No! Don't touch me, flea man! Brain float is better than toilet float. <laughs> Fair enough. Oh, I know where I need to go next. Yo, I know where I need to go next. Yeah, no, I, same. I don't want to. And, like, after getting ghosted by... Like, I don't fully know that I've been ghosted by that one company. For that one, like, high-paying gig I was pumped about. But, like, you know, I mean, maybe the dude is sick. Maybe he's got COVID or something, and the recruiter hasn't been able to get back to me because of it. But, like, I'm kind of feeling, like, pretty fucking over it. I 
all, all these big companies, everybody, you know, we're all trying to chase down these jobs that could be awesome and it's just impossible to get in anywhere. Yo, you had churros? Did you bring any for the rest of us? Just greeting up your churros? Did you bring any to share? Level up! I need to figure out how much how much XP that dude given. 1370. Not too bad. They are digesting in your stomach, knock yourself out. I ain't going in your stomach for no goddamn churro. We had an excellent pork and cheese pasta soup. Oh! You ate, you ate way too much. That was my dinner. I made homemade uh, corn tortillas for tacos. I made all the filling and the pico and everything. And yo, I ate till it hurt. It was not sage, but I did what was necessary. Wait, do I want to be in this in this room? What's this room all about? Oh, I'm just back here now. Yo, secret room, let's go. Are you my mummy? You prefer burritos? When you have the good homemade, because here's the thing, like, most like I make really good homemade flour tortillas too but like the reality is that most places are using those you know pre-made fucking corn tortillas and burrito shells and they just been sitting they just been sitting forever and they got all sorts of crazy shelf stabilizers on them and things that just fuck with the texture and the quality of them. Like, man, when you, you have one of my tortillas, you might sing a different tune. Just saying. I'll save when I get to a save. Don't, don't tell me to save. Yeah. Fucking save when I want to, please. I appreciate the uh, advice from, you know, the audience, but I'll do what I want. Cat hair all over the mic. Cat hair everywhere in this house. Oh, oh, I got stuck. Oh, I got shot. Come on, Mike Hawk. Let's go. <laughs> that cat is quick. Italian tortillas? No, they're not Italian. It's because I make them doesn't change the nation the national origin of the dish. Please. Not what you heard. Well, you heard wrong, friend. You heard wrong, friend! Oh! You know what other game I have that I haven't even fucking barely touched? That I now have to restart because I don't remember anything about how to actually play it? Because I got through, like, the intro level on Sekiro, and I didn't do fuck all with it. Oh, no! Don't touch! Don't touch that sub-weapon! That's a game I gotta mess around with some more, too. Mexican pizza? That's just another way of saying quesadilla. Please. That's a bastardized version! Bastardized by the Americans! Please! Well, actually... Listen. Listen. There's a lot of things that are called pizza that aren't fucking pizza either. I will tell you. I will tell you this with great confidence. Yeah. 
If you're ever on Reddit and you check out the sub stupid food, there's a lot of things that people eat that no one should be eating that they call food that no one should be calling food. I've seen things. Well, I'm glad to have you here, Deus. I don't know where I'm going. Do I want to go right? Do I want to try and go up? Like, I just played this whole fucking game and I already feel like I don't remember where anything is. Still need to bear Sekiro, but the ADHD has you in clutches. Yeah. Oh, I can't go this way yet. Oh, beat. That makes more sense. I get it. Marvelous. Quesadilla sounds like Kitsarata. <laughs> Kinda, yeah. <laughs> no secret wall up there. Alright. Something I've not had in a long time is German potato salad. Your dad always made a good one. Hell yeah. My mom's gotta teach me my grandma's recipe. Which isn't her mother's recipe. It's my dad's mother's recipe. My dad doesn't know how to make it, but my mom learned how to make it before my grandma passed away. It's really fucking good. It's super tasty. Mexican pizza is Von Talion approved. Words in my mouth have been put in places that... Like my mouth that they... No, oh my god. The sentence was worked out up here, and by the time it got to mouth, it didn't come out right, and this is all Stripey's fault. I'm so upset right now. I give her some of your uh, grandma's. I don't know how to say that. However you spell it, I don't know how. I don't know how to. I don't. I don't. I don't know that I recognize that. No, Nef I still don't know what that means. Cause now I have no doubt you're typing it correctly, and I still don't know what that means. Can you tell me about it, Nefla? Now I'm intrigued. Nice. Yeah, throw it throw it in the in the in, in the the Discord. <laughs> I like how this guy's just like, I'm gonna fall into your lap. And then you take damage. I'm doing just just dandy. Just dandy. There's, there's a longer explanation as to how I'm actually feeling, but it's complicated. And I've realized it's no longer worth exploring. Because I just don't care anymore. I just don't care. I just really don't care. I just want to have fun. I just want to smile. There's so many things going on that just smell like farts and I don't want to smell the farts anymore. Man, I never want to switch off this. I never want to get rid of Mike Hawk. I really love Mike Hawk. German red cabbage is amazing. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, I'll tell you what else I made today. Oh, so a cool thing happened. And I'm going to try not to be wasteful with this wonderful gift. So, like, something I would never do is order, like, an entire you know, two pound bag of jalapeno peppers because usually I would be like, what am I even gonna do with two pounds of jalapeno peppers? However, I did a pickup order. Oh, I don't wanna die here. I did a pickup order for my local grocer and online it said jalapeno peppers, specify quantity. And I went, oh, I only need one for my recipe, but one more could be fun to have around. And somehow, that translated to two pounds. But it only cost me like three bucks. So I was like, you know what? I'm not mad about this. It sure would have been nice to only spend like, you know, let, you know, 50 cents or whatever, uh, less than or whatever it would have been, but pickle them. That's part of what I did. I did pickled red onions and jalapenos tonight. Oh fuck, I almost picked that up. Super tasty. I put 
fresh sliced jalapenos on like every meal I had today. Probably why I had a little bit of heartburn. Sugar. Um, and like, I still have way too many left. Like, I don't even, I I'm trying. I I'll probably wind up pickling them for sure. Cause like, I just have so many goddamn jalapenos. I'm, but like I said, I'm not even mad about it. Like, I might try and get that many jalapenos more often, cause I like it. Whoa, prison garb, no defense, all hits. Shiv with a shank with your prison garb. Man, I got potions for days now, this is great. Could make hot sauce too, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I gotta make decisions soon, cause some of them are starting to get squishy. I got them last week, forgot to do anything with them. The bag got pushed to the back of the fridge, and I'm like, oh shit, my peppers! And then I was trying to think about what to do with peppers today. So I just started eating them! Like a madman eating peppers. Yeah, the hot sauce comes after you eat the jalapenos. Comes out your booty hole. That's what we call the Ring of Fire. What was actually nice about these was most of these were actually pretty mild. So they were just like good eating jalapenos. Of course, that's a secret. Mike Hawk, get him. Oh my God, so much cat hair. <laughs> Jalapeno hummus, that's a good idea too. Pepper jelly? Yeah. These are all great ideas. I'll probably wind up pickling them, because I think that's the easiest thing that I can do the fastest, with the least amount of screwing around. Because then I'm also, like... I was a little slow to get down here to start... Oh, don't... You know, let's use one of those potions. A little slow to get down here to start streaming. Because... I had some bread I was making, I'm gonna be making for someone, and then all of a sudden it's like they messed up the day they needed it, so I had to kind of do more with bread today than I was planning on doing initially. So now I got like all this bread shit I'm doing. I got all these peppers to do shit with. I remember eating some jalapeno pepper, they homemade, bitch made my ears burn. <laughs> yeah, pepper jelly would use up a lot. Dude, I had a cat hair in your microphone float into my nose the other night. I could see it happen in slow motion, but it was the middle of the bus fight. <laughs> yeah, and then it like goes up in there and you're like trying to extract it. The worst. And my mustache needs to be trimmed. So I got like I got like these mustache hairs like trying to curl up in there too. You think you have them beat, but you gotta share the story. Even if it's one we've heard before, you gotta share the tale. Oh, I can't do shit here. I need wall jump. I was curled up with Doggo tonight on the couch, and she cracked a rat right in my open mouth while you yawned! Why were you curled up by the business end of the dog? That's on you. No, I picked up the knife! God damn it. Son of a bitch. I'll, I'll enjoy exploring all the map again, I guess. Because I haven't saved for fucking ever. Because it makes a good pillow. That's a risk you walked into. You drive me for five minutes straight. <laughs> to say is that if you're cold, they're cold. Bring those mustache hairs inside. <laughs> says piano poop look i didn't cuddle up with the cat's ass and then get surprised when shit came out god damn it that sucked i don't want to hear about that mm -mm. that's not the same at all that's not an equivalent situation man i gotta go refind all the shit i just found god damn it I thought that was how I was going to die. Well, this is how it ends. <laughs> uh, sucking in dog farts on the couch. Absolutely savage. Absolutely savage. Like <laughs> a rotting skunk. 
Oh, that's a that's like the nicest way you could possibly put that. Dog farts are so heinous. Here lies Stripey, she died doing what she loved! <laughs> uh, nailed it. Home run. Ball went all the way to the next county over. What a hit. Oh my god. I'm glad it took all that time to load the fucking room name text. What a gift. Oh yeah, cat shit definitely has a whole different level. I'm not gonna argue that. But the cat didn't shit into my mouth. See, that's the difference here. I discovered the shit, but it was not into my mouth. Oh my god, cat piss is like the worst. That I know of. Yeah, I think I would know if the cat pooped into my mouth. Into my open mouth, Stripey. Come on. Come on! Come on! I got axed right in the chest. Not into my mouth is an important qualifier here. I agree. I agree. <laughs> Come on! I was there! I know what happened! I would have known if the poopy went in my mouth. Come on! Come on! <laughs> Tossing <laughs> the carrots. Jesus Christ. Yeah, right. Uh, you wish. You wish. Now you're just trying to take the heat off yourself. You wish. Oh, look at that. A barrier. Can't go through it. Male cat piss in particular, especially if they're marking the- yeah. Cat pee is so rank. Can't remember, I think this was a dead end. But I went through it anyway. Oh, he collapsed onto me. That's where I got the prison garb. And I went, wow, look at all this damage, but no defense. Can't be sacrificing my D right now. Yep, and I found that hole in the wall, and I went, of course there's a hole in the wall there. <laughs> you got the heat, you tasted it. Male cat's shit smells so bad I almost vomit every time. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, no, the boys, the boys tanks, take some rank shits down here. And the litter boxes are ten feet that way, like, I, I get it. I can survive the apocalypse now. <laughs> yeah, Stripey's seen some shit. Or tasted it. Oh, he doesn't bury? He's, pr he's proud of his work. He's proud of his work. He's proud of what he done. Oh, that's right. I almost died to the flame knight over here. Come on, Mike Hawk, get in there. Gino's desk is about the same distance. He has an air fresher, air freshener on standby for Lou's scheduled midnight dumping. Yep. Luna's just doing what, you know, it's gotta be done. Oh, 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 oh. Jeez, that was a that was a hit. I'm getting boxed in over here. No thank you. Let's see how much XP this guy drops. See if it's worth farming over here. Ugh, as much as I want that cross. Can't take it.
Man. There we go. Oh, that was a lot of XP. Our youngest cat had me pick him up after I put him down. I saw he had a dingleberry hanging from his asshole. I changed shirts. It's a good move. I just heard her meow from the other room. She knows I'm talking shit about her. Yes, yeah, she does. <laughs> Ma! Ma, why are you telling him that? Ma! Don't do that! Mom! Stop it! Mom! Mom, no! Mom, why are you telling everyone I got a stinky asshole? Mom, no! You're embarrassing me on the internet to strangers! Strangers to the cat, of course. <coughs> That's right, I can't go this way. <clears throat> Your asshole's sleeping on the couch by you. My asshole's underneath me. See what I did there? She's crying for grass. Kitty needs her digestives. Smart cat. Just fiber up. Fiber up. Get those little... Get those little poops flowing. Can't mess with that. Oh my god, this motherfucker. Alright, so I don't know where the next save is supposed to be, and I'm not gonna look up a map. But what I do know is I should go back to a save. If you had Twinkle Tush, you wouldn't have to worry about the berries, it's true. If you spritzed your anus, you wouldn't have the dinglers. The dingler danglers. Feeling better attributing it to me? Well, if I could actually help with anything, I'm glad I could. I will take it. I will take the W. You're welcome. Do 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 be do be booty ba ba ba. Yep. Okay. You always do too. Am I like a miracle worker? I'll take it. I'll take. Like I said, I'll take the. I'll take the fucking win. I'll take the win. Was I over here when I accidentally picked up the sub-weapon? I feel like I was. Yeah, it was over here, wasn't it? Ah! You bastard! He asked me a question, and I didn't like the answer. There, yep, it was right there. Can I just get a goddamn save room? I went up before. And I couldn't do anything up there. Just inside the medallion thing, waiting. Inside the cat badge. I said badge. Pervs. I said badge. No! <gasps> he axed me right in the foot! Motherfucker. I need a save. <laughs> Perfect. I had to look up Twinkle Tush, my risky Google search of the week. <laughs> oh, there's a whole commercial? Please put in the Discord. Speaking of the Discord, in case anybody wants to be there that isn't, I think everybody that's here is. If you're lurking and you want to hang out more, that's where we do it. And if you're lurking and you haven't followed, you should follow too. Or not, I don't care. Do whatever the fuck you want. I'm not your mother, can't tell you what to do. Unfollow, great, thanks. Thanks, thanks for the support. <gasps> oh, that, <laughs> that was shocking. Well, these guys are toughies. It's taking multiple hits. You know, I think some of the walls and floors you can break actually have... Like, um... I think there's something that visually distinguishes them, because I've noticed that now a couple of times. 
Too basic for a twinkle tush. Just give me one of those tree air fresheners to hang from their tails. <laughs> What's a dick's cord? Well, <laughs> I could tell you. But then it's going to get awkward. Which I'm all for, just not yet. I'm not ready to be awkward yet. I gotta warm up to it. The outer wall jumps her. No, not like that, though. Okay, the bomber dudes will drop potions, most definitely. So this is one of those rare... Yeah, it's right there. You can see it right there. There's a little crack in the ground right there. Almost easy to miss, unless you know it's there. Interesting. And when you come back here later on, there's a super rough enemy in here that drops, like... The third best armor in the game. It's got like a 0.5% drop chance. I think I saw Mike Hawk start to break a ceiling wall back there. Well, yeah, it's because Mike doesn't fuck around. Mike's a buddy. Mike Hawk cracks through everything. Mike Hawk isn't afraid to just bust through a hole. Mike Hawk knows a bit about penetration. As most uh, predatory birds do. And we can talk about Mike Hawk all you guys want. It's up to you. Thank you. Thanks for posting to the Discord. Thank you for being a friend. Mike Hawk did not like the, that candle. I can't do anything else over here right now. Yeah, there's some parts of this game where you come back to them often, and then there's other parts where you like, you go in, you get done the thing you need to do, and you never come back to the room again. It's just dead to you. Ah, ah. Oh, those electrical dudes sting. I keep forgetting how dangerous they actually are, because at the part of the game I'm at, they're like a, they're, they're one of those enemies you kill by doing like a thousand damage to, and they hit you, and they only do one damage. Can you ride my cock? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely, you have to be really teeny though. I mean, look at him, he's not that big. Put a... I hate it. Sorry. Sorry that you don't enjoy talking about riding on Mike Hawk. That's not my, that's not my problem. He's bigger than you. Well, look at how shifty he is, though. Today I learned you could see breakable walls. How the fuck are you going to see that shit on a GBA screen? You're not. I'm looking at it on a whole ass TV. Is it on a GBA screen? It's like, I think that pixel's out of alignment. I don't know. And like, there's a lot of detail to most of these too. It's like, like, oh, right there. You can see that little dark spot on it. Yeah. And here's the thing, I just played through the entire game and I didn't even realize that until I was just sitting here looking and it's like, wait a minute! I think, I think those pixels aren't quite right. We're all learning here today. This is a group learning experience. When you say older style, how old do you mean? Like Castlevania 1? Because I think about that game often. How dare you, sir? He almost knocked me out the fucking door. Because I haven't played 
CV3 in a while, and I think about that game every once and once and again. Although I almost feel like if I'd ever revisit that game, I feel like I deserve to only play the Japanese release instead of the American release. Thanks, Mike Hawk. Yo, CV4 is on my list to get back to. That's one I will probably try to very seriously badge. That's one we'll start doing on stream again at some point. I think about that game like all the time. That one I think is my favorite by far. And Rondo I've never played, so Rondo's on my list of games that I need to fuck around with. <laughs> he just hit it and it's just like... Th th See, I'm st I, I know about the visual cues and I'm still checking all the walls anyway. I don't trust it. Like I was just hitting it. The it got darker up there. You fucker. Dracula X and Rondo are the same game story with slight differences? I believe so, yeah. I'm always a little fuzzy on how that's supposed to go, but I believe you're correct. Oh! From the upper deck, I got bombed. Yeah, the inferior port. Yeah. That's supposed to be really great. I just wouldn't know. Fuck you, man. Fuck you, brain float. Right, I'm gonna pick up this save room that I know is over here. Because this was always on my route. <clears throat> yeah, I don't remember the details of it all. Alright. <clears throat> Let me see where we're at with ad breaks. I think I'm going to take a short break, and I think when I come back, we're going to do Mario. I'm going to switch gears for a little bit. Try and clear a couple levels in Mario. Walk away from this for a couple minutes. Well, ad starting soon. Well, this is a perfect time to take a break, then. All right, I will be right back.
Yo, welcome back. Grabbed a little snack. Look at this bread. Oh my god, it's blowing out. It's blowing out in the goddamn light. Look at the texture on this motherfucker. Mmm. Mmm. Make a wicked sourdough. Mmm. Mmm. All right, so. That fried rice. Yeah. It's good stuff. It's good stuff. Yeah. I make some pretty wicked fried rice, too. If I do say so myself. Welcome to the living room. Let's play a game. I don't remember where I left off. I gotta remember how I have the controls all bound for this. Oh, that must be camera. Oh, wait. That's Z. There we go. Oh, that rotates camera, too. Zed! It's Zed! Push the Zed button! I think last time I played I was... Screwing up. Yep. Mm. Alright, we go. All lethal lava. I just have to do the 100 coin star. That I will not do on stream, probably, because that's just gonna piss me off. Oh, Big Boo's haunt. That's where I was last. Mm-hmm. 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 for your ghostly ass, motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, be careful not to push Zed's button. He's an angry person. He is very angry. Lord Zed! Yeah. Oh, Secret of the Haunted Books. This one's good. I'm not worrying about too hard on the Chivos yet for this one. Because I don't think many of them... I think because you can revisit stars... I don't think, uh, most of the Chivos in this game are, like, time-sensitive or missable. So I think I can just enjoy playing the game and then go back and do the shit later. That was unfortunate. Power Rangers was really cool. I was thinking about Power Rangers a little bit today because I was listening to... There's a band called Power Glove, and they do, like, heavy metal covers of some video game music, but they also have, like, a Saturday morning album where it's a bunch of, like, metal themes from, like, kids' shows and stuff, like, when we were growing up. It's so, like, X-Men is on there, but Power Rangers was, too. I was listening to that while I was dashing this morning. It's just like, man, I miss how exciting that was to just, like, get up and be like, cool, a new episode of Power Rangers is on, and just, like chill watch a new episode and then just it was done you just be like all right that's part of the magic of the weekend or whatever you know like with those shows like that that x-men theme it hit a heart i remember how cool it was when the new episodes would come out part of the saturday morning shit you know animated spider-man too it was magic <laughs> it was a magical time it was a magical time to be a nerd I don't remember which room has the books in it. Not this one. The room with the hole in the floor? I don't know. That ain't it. Might be on the other side of the sassy piano. Oh, here we go. This got some books. Are these the books, though? I don't think so. <laughs> Maybe. 
Wait. Oh, the coins. The coin. I can't get up there. No, you dumbass. Oh, I could have got up there. I hope I didn't need to collect that coin, because it ain't happening. Still sad how the Spider-Man animated series ended, and Spider-Man Unlimited was a cool concept, but felt poorly executed. <laughs> it's true. I don't remember how that Spider-Man series ended, to be honest. It was too far back now. What was the ending? Was it one of those ones that just, like, kind of just ended abruptly? Wait, Secret of the Books has nothing to do with the... It's not this room. The non-ending ending? Was that what it was? Ugh. Oh, wow. Wow. Mario! Do it- Do it right or go home! You Italian piece of shit! I can say that because I'm Italian. <laughs> I watched it all a few years ago. I was pretty disappointed at the ending as well. Hmm. That's too bad. I'm getting creeped up on. I don't care for it. Let me back into your creep house. Sir. Sir! <laughs> I went into the secret star... Uh, Secret Wars, where he had other universe Spider-Man, corrupted version of Spider-Man merges with Carnage, but like the ending was one of Spider-Man with him, just a Spider-Man actor in the real world, and he brings a Spider-Man to the real world web sling around Stanley. Interesting. It wasn't, but I followed it. I got you. Okay, so I died in an easy room. Never forget. Not going- no, I just died here. I don't want to be in there. This is the room. Why is my watch buzzing? <sighs> Shut up, Duolingo. I'll do my lesson right before midnight, like I always do. Just chill out. Chill out, owl. Chill the fuck out. <gasps> it's tilty. I don't know how to do it for Nightbot. It's Nightbot, Marin. <laughs> it's Nightbot, so it's gonna be. <clears throat> I think Nightbot does quotes. I think it's exclamation, add quote, all one word, Marin. Try add quote as all one word. If you still even care to. If not, that's fine, too. Can't get up there. I just don't know if it acknowledges that. Oh, maybe you don't need the quotations, though. Cause like, I don't think I have any of that disabled. Maybe I do. Maybe I'm stupid though. It's possible. Let's see what it says under the defaults. <clears throat> Oh, 
gonna take a nap, Mario. You've earned it. Hmm. I might have to look into that. I guess I'm confused by it. Yeah, because I don't... Hmm. Yeah, I guess I don't know. I don't know why that's not working. I'll have to look into that. Because it should be playing back quotes, too. Now, what is this star I'm even trying to find? Secret of the Haunted Books. So I kicked some book ass right here. This isn't the right room. This isn't the right room. These aren't the right haunted books. There's other haunted books I need to fuck with. Uh, I think it's this room. Spooky! Oh, I'll fuck around with the haunted piano. Oh, there's only one other combo. Hey! Fuck you! Yeah, I didn't even touch that one the one time. That was rigged. That was some rigged ass shit. Well, I'll, I'll tickle the ivories on that haunted bitch. I'll make that piano my bitch! Get away, boo! Boom! Ass slam. Oh, and by the way, I suppose I should mention it. I am doing, um... I'll be streaming tomorrow, but not here. I don't think. Um... I'll be over on Shroom's channel with him... Uh, doing Tuesday. With, with with the the great shrum, I think I gotta fuck up this piano to get one of the coins. No, 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 no. Ah, it was behind it. It was a secret coin all along. I know, Marin. You're gonna you're gonna drop some hot sauce. I'm mostly mentally prepared for it. Yeah. All right, that's three. Oh, this room's just stupid. That's good. No. Oh. There's one. Oh, you son of a bitch. I got robbed. I got fucking robbed. I got fucking robbed. Y'all seen it? Y'all seen it? There a coin in here? No. There's just sadness in here. Get out. Keep flying around the corner like I can Z target to move the camera. You can't. I don't like this room. I don't want to get out of here. Get me out of here. <laughs> Yo, 
get me out of this horrible place. You bastard. You cheap shooting bastard. Now where was I? I think I was over here where I found that one. And then I was fucking robbed. Yeah, that's how we do that. Bye. One in there we go. There's two in here, as a matter of fact. Mayhaps a third? No. No such luck. Alright, so we have six. Two to go. Lots of rooms I haven't wandered into. Seven? Oh god. I'm gonna spend like all night trying to find the last one, aren't I? Oh my god. Nope! It's right here! You! Oh, you bastard. Get, let's get this next one. Let's see what it's up. Big Boo's Balcony. Oh, I don't remember how to get up there. I remember there... Um, I don't think it's through one of the rooms. I could have swore there was like... Something that you open up... No, you dumbass. Go back. That you open up out here, I thought. I guess it could be a door? Not the so much! Don't! room. And this. Oh, that's a cool door over there. How do I get over there? Oh, wait, that's... Hold on. What was from that other room? Well, I think one of the achievements is to get up onto Big Boo's balcony without... Oops. You son of a bitch. Yeah, there's like a secret way to get up there or some crazy platforming bullshit you can do. Maybe some wall kicks somewhere. 
I don't remember the official way you're supposed to get up there. So being Metal Mario isn't going to do anything for me right now. Other than make cool music happen. I'm familiar with, this, with the spoopy room. Okay, I can't pass through there. The ghosts can, though. Yeah, now I'm just back up here. Ah, oh, that's right. Yeah, there's some bullshit you can do with this box that you can use the box to get up there. Does that box come back? Here's not. Ah, that's what it is. There's some bullshit you can do with that box to get up on top somehow. I'm gonna have to look up a video on that or something. Ah, cause that's like next level crazy. make the balcony happen. Do I have to kill the ghosts? I have to beat up all his buddies? I think I do. Two in the secret room. There's a bunch downstairs. Mm, just came from there. There's one. I found you. Now you're dead again. Wrecked, my friend. Wrecked. Those guys aren't gonna come out of there because I already killed them on the other side. The piano's an asshole. Not in here. Spooky boys down here. Show yourself, spooky boys. I already got that one! God damn it! I 
Although maybe now that I beat up all his friends, maybe if I go back in the house, he'll be like, Hey, what the fuck are you doing with all my friends? And he'll come out and uh, I'll be able to fight him. That'd be nice. I hear ghostly sounds. Where are you bastards? Oh, it's because he's up there. Just taunting me. With his giggles. When I fought him the first time, that's what opened up the stairway. Oh, okay. I have no idea what I'm supposed to do. The knowledge is so far gone. It's that you can get... That's what it is. You can apparently get this star without having to open the bookshelf. Which probably has a lot to do with going over here. That's what that achievement is. Now, well, That's something to be solved for another time. Because otherwise... Dumb bastard. Hmm. Big Boo's balcony. I know he's up there. How the fuck do I get up there? Oh, not like that, dude. Okay, so the box is definitely a Chivo trick. laugh at me. You would fucking laugh at me. I got your number, buddy. I got your number. I got your number. And I might as well go for the 100 coins while I'm at it. I'm basically at 100 coins almost. This is stupid. Reminds me of one of my favorite forgotten machoisms. I got your number! I got your number! And your number is zero! Yeah! <laughs> Let's bring that one back into style, please. I got your number! I got your number right here! 
You're number zero, yeah! <laughs> it's so good. It's so stupid, but it's so good. I just went in there, idiot. I just completely hate the fact that I'm gonna probably accidentally pop the hundred coin star before I figure out how I'm supposed to get on the goddamn balcony. Yeah. Oh, you idiot. I'll probably do it right here, too. Uh, six, seven, eight, nine? No, but I'll come close. No, I will pop it. I'll pop it right here, probably. Oh, I can't believe that didn't clobber me. You dumbass. Wait, where is it? <gasps> I'm too short. I don't remember coming in there and grabbing that one. We'll get it right here. Whatever. Fuck it. <sighs> no, I, I remember that one, too. I remember that one, too. You're not making it up. You're not making it up. I like how the game's like, you got all the stars. You can quit now. You can go you can go beat the game now. You're all set, kid. I wish I remembered how to play this game. <laughs> Games telling me when to stop playing is one of my pet peeves. Earthbound, I'm looking at you. <laughs> when did they do that in Earthbound? Oh, is that one of the, is is that one where like you get a part at the end where it's like, oh, you can go beat the game now. Go beat the game. It's like fuck you. I'll beat the game when I'm ready. I mean, you could keep playing, but just so you know. You can go beat the game now. Thanks. Then you're just like, well, fuck you. When you talk to your dad on the phone or something, he's like, you've been playing for a long time, maybe. T oh, yeah, 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 that motherfucker. Yes. I know exactly what you're talking about. That's a game I never played to completion. I think I've only ever made it like a third of the way through. <laughs> Number one, you're not my real fucking dad. Number two, fuck you. <laughs> you got it. <laughs> you and I, we think alike. I don't remember how the fuck to get over the Mount Mini. Wait, I can go behind the steps? There's something behind the steps, isn't there? No? Okay. I was ready to get angry, but there's nothing there. Was that even English? What, me? Probably not. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Yo, Ravi. 
I remember when going behind the steps meant something different. <laughs> you ain't wrong. Wait, is like one of these windows like have light? No. No! Don't go in there, you asshole. I know, I can I could tell. I was like, ooh, I feel like Rabby's I feel like Rabby's in here. I feel like he's lurking me. I feel like he's lurking me real good. I knew it. I knew it, baby. <laughs> oh my god, is that X Combs hair? <laughs> Do I have to like... What's that shit up there? Okay, hold on. Hold on, hold up. <gasps> it was probably just right here in front of my goddamn face the whole goddamn time, wasn't it? How am I supposed to do this shit? Can I do like a, a waha waha? No. Mm. Now my eyes itchy. God damn it. Mario, stop being a, a fucking bitch. Just do the shit, man. Jesus. Jesus Louises. Found it. There's some baddies in here. Sounds like there. There you are. Anyone else want to come out of here? <laughs> Mario made his eye fucking itch. What the fuck? What the fuck, man? Come on. Come at me, bro. Get fucked, sir. I had kind of remembered seeing it, and then it's like, wait a tick. How am I supposed to go like, I don't even want to try to go up on the roof now. Now I'm too nervous. Oh, I can just run up here. It's, it's all, no. Fuck you! They're not even like, hey, you made it up. Here's an elevator to make your next trip a little easier. Oh, we all felt that. Right in the taint. Yeah, that's that's the that's the kind of moment that grabs you right in the taint. The old taint tickler. That's what that moment was. God damn it, Mario. Alright, let's try coming from over here. Can't rotate the camera. Oh my god. Mm. There we go. Just go, dude. We gotta figure out some fucking voodoo as to how we get up here now. Is this a one-up? This is gonna be a one-up, isn't it? Yep. Amazing. Apparently there's another one-up in this bitch.
<laughs> Smoke and spooky noises. I have been summoned. <laughs> Oh, that's perfect. Alright, instead of trying to go super long tonight... Oh, I wanted to save. And quit. Is there not, like, a quick, like... saving quit combo for this fucking game? Just hope that I actually saved correctly? Is that is that how we play this game? Whatever. I don't give a shit. I'm gonna find someone to raid, cause tomorrow night, tomorrow night I'll be on Trum's channel doing his Tuesday with him. And since, like, Trum always advertises his stream times and East Coast time usually, um, but he's almost he's Mountain time, I think. So like, we'll probably I'll probably be going pretty late tomorrow night with Shrum, so. I'm gonna not push it too much tonight. It's amazing how far we've come. Who would have thought we would be in a day and age where we would see Mario Nips? Oh god, yeah. That's what you want. That's what you want out of your future. Oh, you're welcome, X2. Thanks to the GG's rap. Oh, let's find someone to raid. I'm gonna raid. Da -ba -da -ba -da. Uh. Speak of the devil. Um, why don't we let's raid into Shroom? That's where we'll be tomorrow night. Blah, 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 blah. It'll be perfect. It'll be perfect. All right. So before before I do the official 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 sign off, yeah. Good night to you, Deus. Yeah, it's always good to hang out. Always enjoy it. Um, if you want it, if you want to come hang more with the gang in the Discord. If you like the jams, they're here. Or the playlist on YouTube is here. They're my remixes. Otherwise, if you aren't following and you want to follow, fucking follow. Um, I think that's all the links. Uh, all the links that are important anyway. But we'll raid into Shrum. Before we do that, let's roll the credits. Let's roll the credits. Thanks for hanging out, everybody. Catch you all around. <laughs>